This area is going to be used by the residents of Falling Springs, specifically the Franklin Meadows Dementia Unit. Our residents have a very small living area, which is where they have all their meals, their activities, their day-to-day -day activities, life. Both my mom and dad are on E-Wing. My dad's been here since August and my mom came in December. And they need a place to be outside. Dementia patients just don't do well, you know, in a, inside all day. They need a place where they can get out and enjoy and get some sunlight and everything. And that's why I'm out here volunteering. I come in every day at lunchtime to feed my parents, help feed my parents. And I saw what was going on, asked Julie if she needed any help, and she said, sure. And one thing led to another, and that's why I'm here. But today we're trying to finish up the project. We got all the plants in. Um, obviously now we're working on the, the stem. And uh, after that, our, our role here will be pretty much done. We started at 7 a.m. this morning. Okay, and what was the weather like this morning? Well, there was, a, there was a heck of a storm coming from the west. The majority of it went went around us, but we did it did start raining pretty hard about 7.30, I would say. We got we got pretty wet, wouldn't you say, Julie? Yes, we did. We were planting all the, all the shrubs and all the plants. Laying landscaping together. We have different things planned, everything from cookouts. We've had a girl donated. We have um, gardening. As you can see, we have vegetable plants behind us. We have a pergola that's going to be set up for shade for the residents. It could be every, anything from reading the newspaper to sing-alongs. We started working on this, I would say, early fall last year yeah. uh, with demolition. Uh, we tore down some existing structures, had to totally excavate the center area, had the concrete laid. Uh, then this spring we started with uh, more demolition as far as removal of landscape. Uh, Dane, Randy, and some gentlemen from the Sheriff's Department uh, built the planter boxes. That was quite a feat in itself to the wild. Yeah, overall the project was a little bit bigger than what I think everybody anticipated, yes. but um, but it's still obviously well worth it. Um, all in all, I guess my guys and myself, we probably have about eight days on it, I think. Oh, at least, yeah. It's about eight full days on it. Total volunteer hours I've calculated to be close to 800. Okay, and that's worth how much uh, is how much close total? to $30,000. Okay. And again, totally donated and no cost to the county. And how much is, did the whole project cost, do you think, including volunteer time? Uh, volunteer time, donations, um, materials I mean, that were donated by family, purchased from monies that were donated by family, I'm close to $60,000. It just thrills me that these guys are going to get an outside living quarters. Um, I know it's desperately needed, and um, myself, the sheriff, and a lot of us at the office, we, we do love helping out, and this is just a perfect way for us to get to know other employees with the county, work together, and, and make a difference.